Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In the previous videos we have learned how we can use Excel as complete beginners. In this tutorial we will see how we can form a template that can be used for bookkeeping for our business. So let's see how it's done. So I'm going to fill some data which you can use in your bookkeeping template which are date, type, description, value of the transaction, then the other columns represents some explanation for the value so the value may be from sales for, from materials from delivery and and so on and so forth so I'm going to each cell that is cropped like this and I'm going to double click on the column and the rest are okay then I'm going to click on the top of, of this icon to select all the Excel sheet and I'm going to select the alignment to be exactly in the middle and now I'm going to select all these cells then I'm going to insert and I'm going to choose table I'm going to check my table has headers and perfect you can also change the styling of your table from here so I'm going to choose this color for example so after building the the table you can see that our text may be better to be on the left so I'm going to select again and I'm going to choose the alignment to be on the left like this and I'm going to call this one as date then I'm going to view then I'm going to select the row immediately below my headers and I'm going to freeze pants and I'm going to choose it from here so that if I want to scroll down the row of the of the titles will stay the same without scrolling down so that I can all always see my titles then I'm going to home to page layout and I'm going to to uncheck this view checkbox so that my Excel sheet will not have any grid lines. Now let's suppose that you want your type cell to only include specific type of 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 uh, inputs or of data. So I am going on the left and I am going to specify some di some types of data. So I'm going to write here type, then mention some types. Let's say for example that you want to mention the type of the transaction that is used during these values so I'm going to mention like credit or bank account or cash for example then I want all the data in here to just include one of these three inputs so I'm going to these three ones I'm going to select them then I'm going to the top left cell here then call it for example type and now I'm going to the first cell or maybe choose them all and go to data then choose data validation then I'm going to select allow only list then I'm going into the source and write equal type and now you can see that it has been turned into a drop down list through which you can choose the type of transaction so next I'm going to select the value as a function equal sum all the all these columns so now if I placed any type of transactions in any of these types it will be in the net value so let's say that I have used negative hundred dollars in sales which means that I, I paid negative hundred dollars then I won one thousand dollars in material then my net will be nine hundred so I'm going also to add a total cell or a total row for this table by selecting it then going to sorry 
by selecting it then going to design then choose total row and now it will add the total row down below now I can choose the type of the total from this drop down as the sum so again I'm going to write this as sum and perfect now I can also format these cells by selecting it for example and choose format then I will be able to choose the type of number I can choose two decimal places or zero I can add 1000 separators so if it's more than 1000 like this it will add a separator and this color is red because I inserted a conditional formatting before which is which I'm going to clear and add it again and now I'm going to conditional formatting highlight the rules then choose less than then less than zero which means that any negative number will be highlighted as red text just like that so I'm going to add some punch of types in here bank account credit cash and you can add as much as you want so now I'm going to go to this drop down drop down button where I will be able to filter my data based on the, s the selection that I want so I can unselect all then choose only the transactions that have been made by credit and it will now reduce the rows to only the ones which has been made by credit and it will only be including it will only be including the addition of these type of cells so for example if I cancel the filter and I added anything any transaction like this from bank accounts to the to the motoring or admin for example or marketing now if I chose again to filter based on only credit the one th one 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 thousand five hundred will be reduced to one thousand and two hundred which only includes the transactions that have made made by credit which makes filtration a perfect method through which you can filter your data based on it because it will on also include the total that is calculated at the bottom of your table you can also add a title by going to any of these cells and write anything like bookkeeping template then for example you can merge all the cells above your table by selecting them then choose merge and center now you will be able to also adjust the row from dragging like this you can add effects like molding like increasing the size you can also go to the row below which is the total you can give it like different highlight like this you can also increase its size and so on and so forth so this is the main idea of creating a bookkeeping and you can manipulate the formatting you can change these these columns based on the specific value or based on your business and the type of values that the, and the type of sub values that contributes to your total value so that's it for this video guys and if you want to know how you can use excel to make money make sure to subscribe to our channel because this is gonna be our next topic thank you so much for watching and see you in more tutorials until then take care and goodbye